Day 10. The adventure continues. Heading up South Pound Road towards Kilkenny. Never been up here before. Don't know what we're going to see. Be an adventure for all of us. It rained like crazy yesterday, so I'm hoping there's plenty of water out here. And we'll have to see how it goes. There's going to be some trucks coming through here in a minute. They're just starting to open up the park here, so... I'll say goodbye for now, and then later, once we get off the road, we'll look at some trail. I hear it's very pretty. Don't know. Never been. It's a beautiful morning for an adventure. The road ended. I think I found the trail. Cabot cabin is done working, maybe. Do they put in the plumbing? I don't think so. You are here. Fishing, access, rest. <laughs> Sounds lovely. I guess it'll go up later. It's a beautiful morning out here though. Mid 50s, breeze is blowing. We'll do some climbing today. Don't know where we're going, but goal is to be starting two nights. Good to have goals. Pack is heavy, a lot of food. But I've been hungry, so I figured, don't scrimp. I left a little behind, but... And of course, Nancy stuffed me with a giant breakfast, so... I won't need a snack for a while. What a wonderful surprise! The yellow blaze! I didn't think I would see any more of those. And especially just because I lost the trail for a few minutes. <laughs> I thought it was looking especially wildernessy, And then I said, wait a second, this can't be the trail. Did a little searching and I found this and I said, oh, this is the trail. And then I saw that blaze and I was like, oh, wow, it's even the right trail. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I've hiked a lot of wilderness, and so my expectations are low. I kept following what I thought was the trail until it wasn't. And I turned around because I said, wait, it's a bad sign. It's not supposed to entirely disappear, I don't think. I don't know this section. I'm expecting some trouble, but I was told there was a trail. This is much easier to follow. <laughs> so I'm going this way. I have no idea where I am, but I think we're getting up towards Rogers Ledges. Pardon my puffing. I started climbing down. Remembered I forgot to take a video of this for you. I think we're headed over that way. But I don't know for sure. We're going down that much, I know. I just saw a person. I haven't seen a person on trail in a long time. Well, I gotta keep going. But I did want to let you know I made it up here. Roger Sledges.
Well, I don't know the name of this pond, but I know that it's not a known pond. So it's the other one. That breeze is good. These mountains are starting to go up and down a little bit. It's a little more work. But we're almost on a known pond. Another mile or so. Maybe a little more. We'll stop, see if we can find some water, eat some lunch, see what time it is, make a plan for the rest of the day. Wish I knew where the water was. I hate this guessing game. I don't want to carry a bunch of water up to Cabot, but on the other hand, I don't know that I'll be able to get water at Cabot. Theoretically, I should, but I don't know that. All right, maybe I should focus on where I'm walking and worry about water later. No, I'm not going to drink that. <laughs> That's some pretty nasty looking pond water. Beautiful day for it. Ran into some day hikers. Stop the chat. It was very nice. They haven't seen anybody on trail the whole time, so. But they're moving fast. They're going up to Cabot and back down. Oh, well, I gotta go. Enough chatting. Bye. <laughs> Some impressive cribbing. It's a nice backcountry construction. Somebody knew what they were doing there. That's a thing of beauty. You know what this is. It's Unknown Pond. I, I think that might be where we're going. I might have heard some mention of something called a horn. I don't know. Time has gone by. It's much later in the day than I expected to be here. <laughs> I've never been here. I don't have a plan, so. I've got some water. I guess we're going to climb up that mountain and see what happens next. <laughs> it's all a mystery to me. Losing confidence in the whole thing. I like to have a plan. I like to know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of wandering now. But they see the trail goes over there. And then I think it goes up there. So that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, that break really stiffened up my legs. <laughs> Stopped and made water. Had cheese and sausage much later in the day that I'd anticipated. I thought I would be here around 1, 1 1.30. After 2.30. Don't mind the darkness. I think there's just some clouds between us and the sun, but it's not really nighttime yet. And some more day hikers. These two weren't friendly, but they had a giant dog with them, so that's okay. I didn't really want to be friendly with them either. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Thank you.
book said this was a pretty good place to come visit, so I took a chance. I decided not to climb up there. I started to, and I said, eh, no need to break your neck. This view is good enough. <laughs> so, I apologize. There's a couple trees in the way, but, boy, she can see a lot of mountains that we're going to have to climb over the next few days. <laughs> it's all going to be fine. I think we're going over that way. So we'll drop down a bit here and then have to go up, but then it looks like we follow the ridge for a while at least. Hopefully. We'll see tomorrow. I'm not sure how much farther we'll go to here today. I think I've got enough water to survive the night, so we'll see how far we get. Now i got to get off this mountain. This is a beautiful little ridge block. If you can get to the top of the ridge and stay there for a while, ridge blocks are very nice. They usually, unfortunately, go up and down a lot to hold the ridge. Right now, we're just kind of cruising gently in these little tiny trees on the top of the hill. It's a pretty big hill. I couldn't squint enough to see the elevation marks on the map, but I know we're pretty high up based on the view I just had earlier. So. I'm trying to get to Cabot Cabin. I would like to try to find the Cabot Cabin water source. I'd feel better. Starting from there with water tomorrow, then starting with what I've got now. Because I don't know what I'll find tomorrow. That's why I've always avoided this section, because there's too many mysteries up here. Mysteries are dangerous for old fat men. You kids, you can experiment and see what happens. I don't get my water, I die. But the legs, they wouldn't let me stop, so I had no choice. I had to keep going. Well, I found water, found this magical view. But I can't find the campsite. I'm ready to stop at any moment. But I need two trees with a little space between them. And that doesn't seem to be available here. We'll continue toddling down this mountain in hopes of finding one. 